Hi, I'm Matt St. John, the sales executive for Sage Interfaces here at V Technologies. And I'd like to thank you today for taking time to watch our video on ship gear. So today we're going to just review what is ship gear. So ship gear is a middleware. It will connect Sage to UPS WorldShip, FedEx Ship Manager, and UPS Indicia Pro and or Dazzle. Shipgear will pull order header information into my carrier's shipping software. So if I'm using UPS WorldShip, I can simply um, type in a sales order number, invoice, or customer number. And what's going to happen, it's going to pull in my address, service, and billing information into UPS WorldShip for me. From there, what I'm going to do is do my shipment inside the carrier software, then ship and process. And what ShipGear will do is update the source document in real time. So it will write back inside of Sage the tracking and shipping charges. And a note there, if I'm shipping against the sales order, when ShipGear writes back the tracking information, it will create a line, a comment line on the sales order with my shipment information. So tracking number, packages, it will update the freight amount into the freight field. If I am using an invoice as a source document, ShipGear will actually update Sage's tracking tables with the tracking information. And source document, when I'm using a sales order, it's going to update and create a comment line on the sales order with tracking information. If I'm using an invoice, it will update the actual Sage tracking tables. In ShipGear, we have a user-friendly interface that allows you to personalize your field maps. Okay. So maybe I wanted to help automate my shipping and label printing. We can map the fields. You know, maybe I want to get a, a custom comment onto a, a label. Um, again, change the field mappings. Very easy to use. Also, with those personalized field maps, uh, there are two add-ons for ShipGear, a program called Freight Rules and the other software called email notifications. Uh, so freight rules, you can simply create your own freight rules. So maybe you want to add um, you know, a handling fee on your shipments, give certain customers discount. Um, freight rules are percentages, min maxes. They can be flat rates. They can be by package or by total shipment. Okay. So that is an add-on for ship gear. And then the email notification program allows you to design your own templates. Um, you know, nice thing, add your company logo, build your brand awareness. But you can design an email notification that will be sent to your customer, you know, with the shipment information. So these can also help reduce those inbound calls of customers calling in asking where their shipments may be. Okay. You're going to send the customer automatically all the shipment information in a nice template up here. So I have Sage open and I have my UPS World Ship shipping software open. Over here is my source key. This is where I can input. I'm, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to be using sales order numbers. So on my source key here, if I wanted to, I can manually type in a sales order number or I can put in a question mark and click enter. And what that is going to do is show me all the orders that I have inside of Mass. So I can scroll through. I'm just going to select order 179 here. Click OK. And again, what that's doing is it's taking all that order information, the order header information from Sage, from that sales order, and inputting it automatically into WorldShip. So here's my company information, my service type. So from here, I'm just doing my normal WorldShip procedure. You know, maybe I'm putting in the package. I'm going to weigh it. Um, I'm just going to manually type that in. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to process selected. Uh, Shipgear will uh, do address validation. So here it's just telling me I can validate. I'm just going to ignore that. I just get a double warning to make sure. And then this warning is just I do not have a printer set up um, just because this is on a virtual machine. So it's just a warning that telling me, hey, you don't have a printer to send this label to. But normally would get my shipment label as you're currently doing. Okay. So now my shipment's just been processed through WorldShip. As my shipper, I can just go back and ship my next package. Uh, for the front office, I'm going to go back into Sage here, go into Sales Order Entry, we'll open that up, and we'll take a look at Order 179, the one we just shipped. Okay. Click on that Lines tab. And again, here's that comment line. We'll double-click that, make this a little bit bigger. 
So as you can see, here's all the tracking information, my weight, number of packages, all created on a comment line, and on the totals, here's my freight amount. Okay. And that's pretty much how Shipgear works. So again, I appreciate you taking time out of your day um, to watch this video. And if you have any further questions, you can most certainly contact me direct. Again, thank you and have a great day.